Hey guys, welcome to day 96 of my carnivore journey. Guys, thank you all so much for joining me and clicking on this video. And I hope that you find a home here in our little community. We've been growing immensely. And I just want to say thank you guys so, so much. You guys are awesome. I cannot believe how much love and support I'm getting from you guys every day. Um, thank you all so much. And I and some of you have been telling me amazing, great things in the comments. What's nice about this community is not only does your comments keep me going and keep me motivated, but I try to respond and I try to do these videos to you guys to help keep you guys motivated. So today I just want to cover a little bit of, of what I want to talk about, which is iodine. Um, this is something we don't always talk a lot about. There's been more talk about it recently, but, um, I'm not going to go into the science of things. I'm not going to go into a bunch of facts about things. I do think that if you want to learn about iodine, there's two videos I think you should watch. There's like a short video. And then there's like a, and I, and I feel like the long video would be like, if you really want to know a lot more about iodine and I highly recommend it. It's a fairly recent video from what I can tell. And both of them have Dr. Uh, Ken Berry in it, but one of them is just him talking about iodine. Like in general, it's a slightly older video, but then this newer one where him and Dr. Brian, uh, Brownstein um, and Brownstein really has been like sort of like a leading doctor when it comes to iodine and things like that. And, and, but he can walk you through how, his journey went and iodine and things like that. And I think it's really important to learn that because it's easy for us to say that carnivore should give you everything like, Oh yeah, carnivore should get, give you everything. But you have to remember that if you look at certain foods and they say, this will give you iodine, right? I'm just using that as an example, just because they have found that it can, it doesn't mean that it does. That's very important because, for example, let's just say you had cabbage. I don't, I don't even know if you can get iodine from cabbage or whatever. I'm sure maybe. But let's say you had cabbage that was grown near the coastal area, um, maybe right off the coast, somewhere in the, in the right region, there was cabbage. There's a good chance you could probably get iodine in that cabbage. If the cabbage is grown, say, in the middle, like, say, Tennessee or somewhere, you know, or maybe Michigan. Actually, I heard Michigan is, I think they were saying, is one of the poorest iodine soils. So let's say you had cabbage that was grown in Michigan. Well, if you go to the store, a lot of times they're using different vendors shipped from different parts of the United States. Who knows where that cabbage may be? Maybe that cabbage was grown in Michigan. Maybe one day it's grown in whatever but there is like a huge decrease in iodine over these last years. And of course, with us eating worse and worse, well, now we're eating carnivore, but it doesn't necessarily mean you're going to get iodine rich foods. And especially if you're going to get it in, in meat, but it could come from a cow that may not be getting like there may not be iodine in the grass. It could if they're cows raised in certain parts of the country that don't have iodine much in the soils and the nutrients. So again, we have no way of always knowing that as a customer. So it's good to give yourself some iodine. Now, for example, I've got three drops in here. Um, I do have, uh, and I'll show you what I use right here. Okay, so this is what I use. And this is, I got this exact link from Dr. Barry. And, and the funny thing is, is I actually did my own research before and I found this bottle. This is what I was going to buy. And then I said, wait a minute. What is what does Ken Berry use? So I went and checked up the doc's page and ended up finding his item video. And I looked and this is the link that he had. This ended up being the same product. So I'm like, cool. All right. So I ordered it. It came in today. And also, guys, check it out. Here's another product that came in. There you go. Uh, Redmond's Real Salt. I finally made the move from the Himalayan salt to Redmond's unrefined. And this stuff is salted from like the same mine. It's unrefined. It tastes great. Tastes nice and salty. It looks a lot like the same thing like a Himalayan pink salt when you look at 
it's not just pure white or something like that. You know, it, it just has that, you know, uh, that that sort of look like it's almost like a Himalayan pink salt in a way. But I use it to cook tonight. Um, everything was really good. Salt levels were good with the food. Um, nobody was complaining about anything. I, I tasted it raw. Of course, when I first got it, I was like, all right, I want to taste it raw. And it was nice and potent. Tasted really good. I got a two bag special. So, um, but uh, tonight, as far as dinner goes, I had what I just recently had not that long ago, three burgers with uh, a beef gravy. Um, had those and the three burgers was a total of, uh, hold on. <laughs> Cause I actually had to, to weigh them out because now that we have a guest in the house, as some of you know, there was a young man that we, we had to move in, um, and he was escaping a sort of a, an abusive home and the young man was, is 19 years old and, you know, doesn't really know how to do much of starting a life, you know what I mean? So, so I ate a total of 20.3 ounces. All right. So of course there's 16 ounces in a pound. So, uh, pretty much a pound and a quarter of, of beef. And as far as snack, I had two hard boiled eggs around three o'clock and I had a meat stick. <laughs> I was like, man, I'm really wanting a meat stick also. So I had the two eggs, a meat stick, and then I had the 1.25 ounce or 1.25 pounds of ground beef along with a little bit of beef gravy. So that's what I had um, for my dinner. Um, feeling really good last night. I took those supplements. Now, I will say the only thing is, is I didn't do my workout last night. I was going to after the video and then um, things got late and with this, with the new, the new kid, you know, in town and moving in yesterday, we just got distracted afterwards. And I got to the end of the day and I'm like, Oh my God, I forgot to do my five exercises. So I'm actually going to do those tonight. So it don't matter if you miss a day, it's not the end of the world. Just do it again. And, and like I said, we'll just go every other day from, from here, you know? So I am going to go do that here after I get done with this. And, um, so, but yeah, iodine guys, look it up and I got the iodine drops. Like I showed you and I did three drops because in, in one of the, the Dr. Barry videos, um, I want to say he was talking about one drop a day in your coffee, but I found more recent where he was talking about two drops, but then I also found when he did this, um, the, the the sort of the expert when he talked to him to Dr. Brownstein um, or Stein, I can't remember one of the two. Um, he, it was only, I think the video was uploaded three days ago. And then he was telling the bear, Dr. Bear was telling him the, the expert um, how much he was recommended to his, his people. And he even says like, well, they could even go even more. So I kind of did a little bit of what his recommendations and, and I'm not going to quite full on go there, but I'm going to do like three drops, I think is about what it seems to be a decent amount. So I'm going to do three drops a day in my coffee and see how that, how that goes. And then like I was telling you about supplements, um, now today I probably won't take my supplements because I had beef. I had a lot of beef today and, and a few eggs. I don't think I'm going to take uh, any potassium or mag you know, magnesium or zinc. Um, I'll save those maybe for tomorrow or, like I said, whenever I, I don't have as much meat. So um, let's see. Anything else I need to tell you guys? Um, encouragement. Guys, keep going. Don't give up. And then, listen, commit. Commit. I know some of you are holding back. You're, you're nervous. And what I'm telling you, commit to 90 days. Just, just take it one day at a time and keep pushing for those 90 days. Trust me, they'll come fast enough. I, I didn't think, you know, and here I am day 96. I was like, I really, I can remember the whole time throughout the day nine is going, how's it going to be in 90 days? How's it going to be? And of course you guys missed it. I did my 90 days, you know, before and after, and I've lost a, a good amount of weight. I feel good. 
Um, I, I mean, there's just so many positives and, and it's not hard to do. And now my family is starting to eat like more keto. Like they're not, I'm starting to uh, omit like pasta and potatoes and stuff. Like when, you know, like tonight they had the burgers with the gravy. The only difference is they had green beans with theirs. So it was very keto, you know, versus um, there was no pasta. There was nothing. They all ate. They were all satisfied. Um, so I think, again, my family is starting to come around in that sense. Um, and the and the new guy, the new young man that, that moved in with us, um, he's fitting in already uh, because he's allergic to a lot of vegetables, apparently. <laughs> So he ate pretty much carnivore like I did tonight, um, except I did make a side of mushrooms uh, because, you know, my wife loves like uh, beef gravy, beef and some mushrooms. So I made some mushrooms for everybody. They all had a little bit of mushrooms on theirs, except for me. Oh, and if you see in the picture uh, on if you if you noticed on my three burgers, one of them had some seasoning, additional seasoning. And what I was experimenting with is I did my taco blend. I have my own taco season and then I do. And I, I, I put it on that because I wanted to see how it would be as almost like a smothered burrito flavor. Cause I used to make this smothered burrito where I used to do this meat and a tortilla and I made this beef gravy with taco seasonings. And I did this, it was called a smothered burrito. And it was really good. And so today I wanted to see how it'd come out with my taco seasoning just on the uh, the beef and burger. And it, it was okay, but it, it, it unfortunately it kicked it on a little bit too salty. Um, so if I was to do that, I would have to obviously, you know, make the sauce itself and not use the taco blend in addition to the gravy and stuff. Anyways. But guys, that's about it. That's my weekend, my weekend. That's the weekend update. <laughs> I'm Josh Morris and you're not. Uh, no, I'm just kidding. But um, but no, that's, as far as my daily update, that's that's it. I mean, um, feeling good, doing good. Love it. And if you guys have questions, you guys want me to cover certain topics. I'm just trying to give you guys information as as I learn it that way. You know, if you're beginning of your journey and things like that. And sometimes people forget about some of these things. Like I remember coming across iodine a long time ago, but I literally forgot about it. I kind of got caught up mostly in the quest for just doing the carnivore. I didn't even I forgot about the the iodine part. So then when I saw it again, I was like, oh yeah, that's right. Let me let me educate myself. Went and, and educated myself on iodine. I bought the drops. I came in, you know, today and I have been here. Actually, we'll, we'll try to make a note. We'll try to see if, because I've been feeling pretty consistent. And now that I'm taking these, now like after this night, we'll see how things go and see if the, the, the iodine changes anything. Because I heard there, there's some things that might also help evacuate in your body. And I'm, I don't mean like diarrhea. I'm just saying like, there's some other bad things that it's supposed to help carry out of your body with having a good amount of iodine. So, hold on. Mm. I'm trying to. Mm. And in case you guys wonder what kind of coffee I drink, believe it or not, it's just good old Folgers. <laughs> but. Tonight is Dunkin' Donuts. Um, I do both. I have Folgers. Like, I kind of like to do a Folgers medium roast. And um, today is a uh, Dunkin' Donuts medium roast. I also have a dark roast that sometimes I do. And then a splash of cream. But I just wanted to see if I could taste any kind of uh, metallic taste or anything in my coffee. And those three drops, I don't know. I'll let you know tomorrow if, um, if I get sipped through the coffee and I start tasting anything weird. I'll let you know, but all right, guys, we will see you tomorrow. Day 97. Bye.